the, the right to be forgotten has not been dropped. The right to be forgotten is very much part of this plan. Uh, and we will be taking this forward because, th as I said uh, from the beginning, thanks to the scientific advances which are ongoing, we have uh, access to better treatments, to earlier diagnosis, to screening, uh, and uh, there are more people surviving cancer. And, of course, uh, uh, we need to address the, the challenges that they face. And the Right for View Forgotten is a, is a, a very important initiative uh, that actually really turns the coin on the other side, that even if uh, someone has been through cancer, I have the right to they go on with my life uh, after surviving cancer, after many years, uh, to have the access to the same services that uh, every other citizen has. So um, uh, because we believe that, for example, banks and other financial institutions are not in the best position to assess the risks associated with cancer, and if someone's going to be relapsed, uh, they need to take, uh, they tend to take an over-precautionary approach for the protection of, of, of business and uh, of many cancer survivors are met with either a brick wall or with having to meet more and more additional conditions to access loans, mortgages and insurance policies. And this is just one aspect. So we will be initiating a dialogue between uh, patients and consumer organizations, financial institutions and of course member states to develop a code of conduct in which we want to ensure that developments of cancer treatments um, and their effectiveness are reflected in the way that cancer survivors are approached.